Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between internal and external economies of scale. Internal economies of scale are the real economies which accrue to the firm because of its internal situation, that is, they are limited to the firm only and are independent of the moves of other entities in the industry. External economies of scale, or otherwise called as pecuniary economies are achieved by the firm, out of the expansion and growth of the industry, of which the firm is a part and also out of economy-wide development. So, let's look into the basic differences between internal and external economies of scale in a tabular form. Difference number 1, internal economies of scale refers to the economies that are internal to the firm, accruing on account of expansion in its output, on the other hand, external economies of scale, as the name suggests, are the economies outside the firm and occurs to the expanding entities. Number 2, in internal economies of scale long run average cost curve falls due to the expansion in the level of production or plant size, up to a particular level, as against. The long run average cost curve shifts downward due to the expansion in the size of industry or economy as a whole up to a particular extent. And, difference number 3, the internal economies of scale can be reflected in long run average cost as a movement along the curve. Conversely, the external economies of scale can be indicated as a shift in long run average cost. Both internal and external economies of scale accrue to the firm up to a certain level only. After then the long run average cost curve begins to rise when that level is crossed. This leads to internal and external diseconomies of scale. So, these are the differences between internal and external economies of scale. If this lecture was helpful, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.